I'm going to read from Mrs. Death, Mrs. Death. It's a story imagining death as a woman, as a black woman, as an invisible woman, as a woman you walk past, a woman you don't listen to or value. Um, and Mrs. Death makes friends with a young writer called Wolf. And Wolf tries to write Mrs. Death's memoirs. I'm very um, torn over which bit to read. So I think I'm going to go this way. So um, Mrs. Death tells Wolf all these different deaths and stories, remarkable lives and unremarkable deaths and remarkable and unremarkable and invisible. And, and this is one of the stories that she shares. And this is The Red Tower. Spain, 1488. I am in the Red Tower. I am searching, looking for someone. I ask, where is my boy? A voice replies, now you remember. Remember how you betrayed him, how you betrayed them all. You gave them up for gold. You watched as they bashed their heads in with rocks. Their bloody skulls caved in. They were gutted like fish, fed to gulls, thrown to smash, crash against the red rock. Red stone stained red beneath the red tower. All the boys dead. All the dead boys, now dead, red, bloody dead. The great red fortress towers tall above the cliff. Red, dead, red, the red stone. The ripped flesh drenched in sun, red with blood. Sunlight all washed red. So much red under a bloody red sky. All these young boys dead at the feet of the stone castle wall, stained with red rivers of blood, bloody, bloody blood. It rained. It poured, sea below was red. Those poor boys, all slaughtered, butchered. How brave they fought. Look in the courtyard, how the well was filled with more bloody bodies, bones and ruin. That well will never be clean again. The water always stained. The rats not ever hungry here. Crow and raven flew, or black beak crammed with red eyeball, red kidney, all the boys. See that red heart eaten by wolves. Do you remember now the wolves' teeth all red with blood, the dogs, the blooded heads on spikes? Oh, yes. I see it in your face. You remember it now. Remember? That is where he fell, there, upon those rocks. Oh, shame. Oh, shame. Oh, shame. In God's name, shame. I love that boy. I see him now, a brown face, wild hair, trusting me, me of all people, me of all the devils, me and my holy father and spirit, my church and king, and him with his soft song from far away. He knew nothing. It was forbidden, love. And now I cry, now I cry, remembering him. I know I wronged him. I used him up. I had him for myself. Then I gave him up for gold. Oh, I'm sorry now. That's the truth. They took him. I stood silent. I kissed my gold crucifix. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, they took him, dragged him, kicking and screaming. They killed him slowly, that's for sure. I see his face in my mind. I feel a guilt that lasts eternity and lust and shame and rush of want and sex i don't know i never i never knew his family name just that he came from another place another god delicious forbidden fruit i watched as they dragged him rip and tore and slit him open smashed his bones kicked his head then caved it in they threw him in pieces down upon the red blooded rocks i couldn't speak I was silent. I wouldn't speak for fear the same would come of me. Fear betraying my own self. Fear betraying my own church and king. How he haunts my dreams, haunts me here. I can never sleep. Long may he rest in peace. Sweet young boy, haunting me. And the castle washed in red, with red sunset and with blood. And the ghosts in the well sing, no more, no more, no more. 
and the end slaves sing, no more, no more, no more. And the prisoners' souls sing, no more, no more, no more. And the sea salt beaten rocks cry, no more, no more, no more. I weep, they weep, and we should all weep. No more, no more, no more. And the boy, the boy, my love, that boy, my love, no more, no more, no more.